Now, let's look at some vehicle emergencies you may encounter and how you should be prepared to handle them. Oh, hi. Here's what you should do if your car has a mechanical breakdown. If possible, move your vehicle out of the traffic lane and park where the disabled vehicle can be seen for at least 200 feet in each direction. Turn on your emergency flashes, raise the hood, stay away from the traffic lanes, and keep passengers away as well. If you use emergency flares, install them 500 feet away from your vehicle. If your gas pedal's stuck, then you should shift to neutral, that's the end gear, then apply the brakes. Make sure you find a way out of traffic and warn others by flashing your lights. Pull off the highway if possible. Turn off your ignition. In the event of a brake failure, you should pump the brake pedal hard and fast, shift to a low gear, apply the parking brake slowly so that you don't skid, rub your tires against the curb to slow down your vehicle if you can, or pull off the road into an open space. Test your brakes lightly every time you've driven through deep water. Brakes may pull to one side or they may not hold at all. Dry your brakes by driving slowly in low gear and applying your brakes. If one of your tires blows out, well, follow these steps. You should grip the steering wheel as firmly as you can. Ease up on the gas pedal and slow down. Do not use your brake. Look for a safe place to pull over and when you feel your car is under control again, gently start braking. Let's say your car's hood flies up while you're suddenly driving. You should slow down, find a way to keep your eyes on the road, either through looking through the crack between the hood and the body of the car, or look out the side window. Pull over as soon as you possibly can. Power steering failure could be caused by a stalling engine, a low level of power steering fluid, a broken steering drive belt, or a defective pump. If your power steering goes out, you should slow down, grip the steering wheel firmly, applying more pressure than usual, find a safe path through traffic, change lanes, and move as far off the roadway as possible. If your right wheels go off the shoulder of the road, if you steer close to the side of the road, sometimes this happens, and your right wheels slip off the shoulder, you should follow these steps if that happens. Take your foot off the gas pedal, hold the wheel firmly, and maintain a straight line. Brake lightly, turn back into the pavement sharply at a low speed. Now, we hope that this will never happen to you, but you have to be prepared for it if a car or a motorcycle is coming toward you in your lane. You should sound your horn and flash your lights, brake sharply, be prepared to steer on the side of the road, a ditch or in the next lane, and it never hurts to pray. <laughs> Here's what you should do if there's a fire in your vehicle, whether it's under the hood or in the passenger compartment. First, find a safe place and slow down and pull over. If the fire is small and you have a portable extinguisher, you should attempt to extinguish the fire. If you cannot extinguish the fire and it continues to get larger, get away from the vehicle. There may be toxic fumes and the possibility of an explosion. Never apply water to a gasoline or a diesel fire. <laughs>